Hey guys, so in this video I just want to review some basic trigonometry from grade 10 and maybe a little bit from grade 9, I guess, technically. So what we have here is a right-angled triangle, okay? Uh, the part with the little square in, this, uh, in, the, uh, in the corner there, that's the, that's the right angle, and of course that means that we have a 90-degree angle there. So, uh, let's call this triangle, triangle ABC, just like this, okay? So when we have the, uh, the vertices uh, named ABC with capital A, capital B, and capital C like this, there's, there's a specific con uh, convention for writing the side lengths, and that is to use uh, the lowercase version of these letters, but place them on the opposite side lengths. So, for example, opposite from A, we have lowercase A, opposite from B, we have lowercase B, and opposite from C, we have lowercase C, just like this. Okay, and you might recall from grade nine and technically before that that uh, the side lengths of a right angle triangle like this, A, B, and C, are uh, they're related by the Pythagorean theorem: C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay, cool. So uh, let's uh, let's change this up just a tiny bit. Let's say that I have a fifty degree angle here. Okay, so that's my fifty degree angle, and let's just say that I wanted to know what angle A was. So I know what angle C is, it's 90 degrees, I know uh, that angle B is 50 degrees now, and I want to know angle A. So if you remember that a triangle has three angles that add up to 180 degrees, that means that I can fairly easily find out what angle A is by doing the following. I'll do angle A is equal to 180 degrees, subtracting out the 90 degrees, and subtracting out the 50 degree angle that we know, right, we will get an answer of 40 degrees, which tells us that angle A is 40 degrees. Okay, let's change it up just a little bit more. Let's get rid of those side lengths, and let's say that I actually place in some measurements now, okay? So let's say I have three meters for uh, side length A, and let's say I don't know what side length, uh, side length C is, right? And now we want to figure out a way to maybe get what side length C is. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to make use of some of the trigonometry you learned last year, specifically SOCATOA, right? So sine, cosine, and tangent. So just uh, as a, uh, a reminder, right, the way that SOCA TOA works is that you look at an angle, so in this case we're going to be looking at our 50 degree angle here, and uh, we want to identify what the opposite, the adjacent, and the hypotenuse uh, are in terms of the side length. So the opposite side length is going to be the side length across from the angle, so this is our opposite side length here. Okay, the adjacent side length is going to be the side length which is sitting uh, next to the angle, or basically it's one of the sides that's making the angle, but it's going to be the one that's not the hypotenuse, okay? So that means that our adjacent side length is right here, okay? And our hypotenuse is, uh, there's a couple ways you can think about this. It's uh, either always going to be the longest side length, uh, or it's going to be the side length which is opposite from the uh, right angle. So that makes this our hypotenuse. Okay, cool. Sweet. So the question is, how are we going to figure out what side length C is? All right. How are we going to figure that out? That's our hypotenuse. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to decide what ratio to use. And as you can see, we've been given our adjacent side length, it's 3 meters, and we're looking for our hypotenuse. So we want to use the ratio that makes use of the adjacent side length and the hypotenuse, which is going to be this guy, the cosine ratio. Okay. So we're going to use the cosine ratio. So let's set up an equation. So the cosine of our angle, which is angle B, uh, is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, A over H. Okay, Angle B is 50 degrees, so we're going to fill that in along with, uh, with side length A, which is 3. So we get cosine of 50 degrees is equal to 3 over side length C. Okay, and now uh, I want to solve for side length C. Right, I want to isolate for it specifically. So one way, you might have a different way of doing this, but one way to do this would be to put cosine of 50 degrees over 1 and then cross multiply, which is going to give us uh, C times the cosine of 50 degrees is equal to 3. And then we're going to divide both sides by the cosine of 50 degrees. All right? uh, the cosine of 50 degrees are going to cancel. And then we can do 3 divided by cosine of 50 degrees, and that gives us a measurement of about 4.67 meters. Okay, so that's how we use uh, Soka Toa, or basic trigonometry, to find out a side length when we know an angle and another side length. Okay, um, if you'd like to, you can try to figure out what side length B is uh, on your own. Right, you can do the calculations on your own. Uh, and just in case you're wondering, uh, the answer sh uh, should be 3.58 meters for that. So if you wanna wanna practice one on your own, then go for it. See if you get 3.58 meters. All right, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move on 
uh, and check something else. So let's say I have another triangle like this one. So I have a right angled triangle like this. One side length is three meters. Uh, its hypotenuse is five meters, okay? And uh, we're looking for that angle, okay? We're looking for this angle. And I guess we've got to give uh, this triangle a name. Let's call it triangle DEF. So we're looking for angle D. How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to make use of trigonometry again. So, so katoa. So we want to decide. Are we going to use sine, cosine, or tangent? So the angle that we're looking for is angle D, right? Uh, and we need to consider well, what's been given to us. Well, the side that is opposite from angle D is 3 meters, so we know that that's 3 meters, and we know that the hypotenuse is 5 meters, so we want to use the ratio that will make use of our opposite and our hypotenuse. So we're going to be using this guy, the sine ratio. So let's, let's use the sine ratio. Let's set up an equation. So if we set up an equation, we're going to get the sine of angle D is equal to our opposite side length divided by our, our hypotenuse. Okay, Filling some stuff in, we're going to get the sine of angle D is 3 over 5. And now we want to solve for angle D, right? We want to isolate for angle D. Now, that means that we need to get rid of the sine uh, in front of the D. So um, typically, in order to get rid of something, you need to do the opposite thing on the other side, right? So we need to think about, well, what's, what's the opposite of taking the sine of something? Well, uh, that's something you learned last year. It was called sine inverse. So we're going to take the sine inverse of the other side of 3 over 5 to get D. So D is going to be the sine inverse of 3 over 5. And when you plug that into your calculator, you're going to get that D is approximately equal to about 37 degrees. Okay, so uh, this has been a bit of uh, basic trigonometry. Uh, review this video as many times as you want until you feel you get the idea. Take care, guys.